Hello Aries, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the energy in September. This reading is for the Aries out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If this reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, you like my vibe, you feel like you connect with this reading, and you feel like I am the reader for you, and you want to show some support to this channel, hit the subscription link along with the notification bell and the thumbs up image to help this video circulate. If you need something more specific, something more geared to your story, the link to the email address is in the description box for a personal reading. I do have openings for the remaining of September. That's if you need something more specific. Okay. Okay, let's see what's going on with the sign of Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on with my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay, let's see. Try to keep this straight. All right, let's see. Aries. Aries. Three of Wands. That is your energy. Three of Wands. Okay. With the Knight of Wands. This, the Death card. Scorpio's energy is here. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. Or someone has Scorpio in their chart. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Page of Swords. Okay. We have the Five of Cups. That card is chewed up. I say it. If it comes out during the reading, I say it every time. <laughs> oh, okay, what else? other messages are here for my Aries? What other messages are here for the sign of Aries? You may not be talking to someone at this time. We have the sun card in the reverse, Leo's energy. Okay, why is this sun card in the reverse? Guys, okay, okay. So we have the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and then two additional cards came out, the Strength card and the Knight of Pentacles. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Leo. If not, you may have Leo in your chart or someone you are dealing with have Leo in their chart. This is you, the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Some of you want to take action, but right now may not be the right time. You want to take action. There's something here that you want to do, but I feel like Spirit is saying now is not the right time. You have to wait for the right time before you move forward. I feel like something is coming in, but it's not coming in as fast as you would like it. Something is going on that is, is not happening at the pace that you would like. And I feel like it's not going to come in. Until with this death card, you, you have to put an end to something. You have to put an end to something or something around you needs to transform. This could be you or your partner. Another thing I'm seeing is someone needs to pay attention to their children. It's like the children... There's a child here. One of your children, or if you, I mean, I don't know how many, how many kids do I see? One, two, three. One, two, three. 
I see three children so far. One of these children is like trying to get your attention. And I feel like either you or Scorpio or not, someone's not paying the, this ch child any, any mind. So something that you are, you want to do, there's a waiting, um, there's some waiting time that's taking place. Like you have to wait for something to come in because you may have to put an end to something in order for something new to make space for whatever it is that you want to come in. It's something that you are working on. You feel like you're working on this by yourself. Or you could be working on, on this by yourself. If this is a relationship, you're waiting on someone, your partner, to make a move. But something needs to end before something new can be, come in. I feel like you are feeling wounded. Feeling like you're the one that's pu putting all the work into this union. You feel like you're working on something and you're, and you're by yourself in it. With the Page of Swords here. I'm seeing um, there could be an age gap here between you and this person. Someone could be um, spying on you as well. Someone here is spying. I feel like this person have regrets with this five of cups. There are some disappoint disappointment here. Someone isn't happy. We have the sun card here in a reverse. Someone here isn't happy. Someone isn't happy because I feel like they wanted to overcome these obstacles and weren't able to. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the confirmation. Something is not something is falling apart. Something is definitely falling apart here. And someone isn't happy about it. Because with that Ace of Swords, I feel like either you or this person is not able to overcome these obstacles. And someone is walking away. Someone's going to turn their back on this. If it hasn't happened yet, it's going to. Someone's going to turn their back on this union and walk away. After they gain the strength and courage to do so. But I feel like it's going to take some time. And that goes back to the beginning. Wanting something to come in. Waiting for something to come in. But needing to walk away from something. And that's how it usually goes. A lot of times we want things to come in. We want something new to come in. Or, you know, something there to fulfill us. But it's not, the door will be closed if we don't make space for the new to come in. I mean, that's just how it goes. So let's see what else is going on. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of this. What else is going on? Why is this three of wands here with this knight of wands? Why, what, what is this waiting period? What is this waiting period for the sign of Aries? Okay. This has something to do with a marriage. We have a king and a queen of wands here. I feel like the queen of wands may have turned her back on the king of wands. The feminine energy turned her back, turn their back on the masculine energy. And I feel like 
I feel like it's because the feminine energy wanted something harmonious. And the masculine energy is like a beast. Like, I'm seeing the masculine energy out there trying to tackle other things or, or other people. Other things or other people. And that's what caused the feminine energy to turn, turn their back. Yeah. Not even on the same page. We have the fool card here. Yeah, so the fool card came out in a reverse. That is um, your energy is along with Aquarius energy, but... I don't see you you may not be ready to take a leap of faith or to take a risk to take the jump to walk away from this that's that's what it's saying you're not ready to take that fool card is your energy you're not ready to take a leap of faith to walk away from this and with this ace of wands it could be because of the sex. I, I, why do I remember saying this in a reading that I did for you not too long ago? Something about the sex. Some of you are being controlled. With, yeah, definitely. We have the emperor and a double card. The emperor is your energy. And this double card is toxicity. Mm -hmm. Some of you are addicted to this person's sex. Yeah, I feel like this person may be using sex as a um to to keep you or there's some some type of something some type of toxic cord some type of cord that needs to be cut. Some of you may be embarrassed about this as well. Because this person is wearing a mask. This person presents themselves. This this is you and your person. This is your person on the outside and this is you on the inside. Some of you are feeling like your feelings don't matter. This person has the keys to your heart. And look at look, look at this mask and he has the key in his mouth. With a smile on his face. <laughs> when all alone, look, your heart is up here. He's like, I have your heart. And this is the devil. This person has, um, yeah, this person is, is, this person is going to take your crown. And I don't mean like a physical crown. I mean, this I feel like if you don't, I'm not getting a good energy here. I feel like if you don't walk away from this person, this person is going to, uh, they're going to walk away with your heart in their shoe. There's a, there's a toxic string here that needs to be cut. And it has something to do with sex. Some, someone could have did some spell work here. Now, I don't usually say that because I don't like to, to sound cliche-ish. But that I, I'm getting a strong, strong, strong feeling of spell work. And someone, I feel like it was done to balance things out. Because you were left wounded. This this could this could be a one-sided relationship. Yeah, this person came in like a knight in shining armor. Holding on for dear life to this union. Why? I want to know why. 
Where's this person holding on to? <clears throat> Seven of Swords. Yeah. See, this person is still being deceptive. This person is a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's what I'm hearing. A wolf in sheep's clothing. This person is sneaking off offering. This person may ignore you. Not all the time, but sometimes because they're offering a cup to some, their cup of love to someone else. And it it's causing, <coughs> excuse me, it's causing conflicts, fighting, and bickering back and forth. There are two, two, it's too much going on here. It's like a, and then there's mental conflict as well. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. This person is a player. All, I mean, it's all there. The Double Card, the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Wands. And I feel like this love is restricted. If it's not restricted, it's... um. You're in it, or they're in it. Apply the energy as it fits to your story, but it's not. Um, <clears throat> it's not what it seems. It, it's not what it appears to be. Yeah, here we go with the hangman. It's stuck, suspended in the air. Because someone is putting on a show. You can only you can only front for a little while. Someone is putting on a show. Hoping that things move in their in a um, more positive direction. Something needs healing. Something needs healing here. Something needs to heal quickly. And with this Ten of Wands in the reverse. Someone, someone here could be healing. Because they were tired of feeling overwhelmed. With their Ten of Wands, that's your energy. So you could be healing from something that happened in the past or something that's going on that, or you need to heal so that you don't feel overwhelmed. I'm feel, I'm I'm just hearing like someone needs to heal so they don't feel overwhelmed. So they don't feel like they're on the outside looking in. Yeah. The will of fortune. Um, that's Sagittarius and Pisces energy. There's some emotional or physical distance here. Mm -hmm. Someone feels alone. Again, that's that feeling of I'm working on this all by myself, a one-sided relationship. Because this other person is there, present, but not there. Because they, they are offering their love to someone else or somewhere else. And with this Five of Swords here. I'm just seeing deceptive energy. Someone feels defeated. Someone feels like the other person has, a like you could be one, one up in each other. That's, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, we have the King of Pentacles in a reverse. This is this person is non-committal. Someone is non-committal in this union.
they have love for you or you have love for them, but they're non-committal. Let's see what the outcome is. Um, the strength card. Leo's energy again. I feel like you may be trying to tame this person. Trying to tame this person, but can't. Two of cups in the reverse. You can't tame them because you don't see eye to eye with it. This person doesn't see eye to eye with you. Or you don't see eye to eye with this person. You can't tame this person because this person has a decision to make with their two of wands. They have two paths that they can take. And I don't, I don't feel like this person has decided on with this magician card. This person has been trying to gain clarity and manifest a decision. Like which, which way should they go? But they, it hasn't come to pass yet. They're still thinking about it. Gemini Virgo energy is here as well. So someone, I'm seeing someone focusing on their finances. You could have met this person at work as well. This person could be manifesting money, trying to manifest some money. But they're withdrawn with the hermit card. Someone is withdrawing, trying to gain clarity and enlightenment to how they can move towards peace and harmony. Because as I said before, someone is not happy here because they have a lover with this lover, lover's card at the bottom of the deck. Someone has a lover. Because we have a couple here and then we have someone else here. And he looks like he wants to give the mistress or whomever this other person is their those roses. I'm going to leave it at that, Aries. This is your reading um, for the energy in September. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. If you need a reading more specific, the link to the email address is in the description box. Don't forget to thumbs up this um, this reading. Um, be safe. And I will see you next time. Bye.